Hi friends, and thanks for stopping by my channel, and welcome to my front porch. The one thing I love about this porch is it's one of my favorite places on all the farm. It is so cozy and quiet. It's a place that I can come and just rest and relax and um, collect my thoughts or just uh, get ready for the next project. The other thing I love about this front porch is decorating it and decorating it for fall because fall is my favorite season to decorate for. And a country porch is always fun to decorate. However, because this is fall and we are getting into the winter season, I also wanted to take the time and do a deep clean. You know, being out here in the farming community, we get a lot of dust and there sure is a lot of cobwebs and all kinds of things that we need to clean up and dust and so this is actually going to be a clean and decorate my front porch video. So I hope that you will like it. Okay, friends. So before we get started with our clean and decorate, I just want to take a moment to give you just a quick shot of the before. This is the porch. It is all decorated for spring and summer. And this is pretty seasonal for this time of the year. And... Now we're going to go ahead and get started with the cleaning. Now, when I like to clean a surface, I like to completely uh, move everything and start with a clean slate. That has always been my theory on cleaning that we should start with a clean slate. So what I'm doing is I'm just knocking the dust off, the big heavy stuff, and um, of course, you can't see that on this video, but there is just a lot of dust and copy webby things all over. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and dust those things and clear the space so that we have a fresh space. We don't have to clean around anything. And um, it just makes the clean so much better. And because, like I said, winter is coming, I'm not going to do this style of a deep clean. Again, probably before winter because it's getting cold and um, I won't like being outdoors that long and I won't like using water. So um, now is the time to go ahead and do that. Now this porch railing, you see me move some spindles a minute ago and now this piece. If you notice on the left side of the porch, we don't have that railing. It wasn't there. And so... Uh, Luckily, we have this piece, and that's a project hopefully before fall. So I've washed the screen, and now I'm just clearing the seating area space. Now you can't see this either, but boy, there is a lot of dust in the ridges of that roof. And you know what they say about cleaning. Also, a good tip is to start from the top and work your way down. That's always so important. You don't want to work up from the bottom and then knock all your stuff off into a, your area where you're trying to clean. So I love using this corn broom because it really uh, is abrasive on the brick and it gets all that dust and stuff off because, you know, brick is pretty unlevel surface. It's pretty sharp in places and it gets um, things stuck on it. Now that I have brushed down all of the top and the walls, I'm now sweeping the floor and um, we sweep the rug also and now i'm going to do a little power wash really get things clean really get in there and get it all washed off and it's going to look great and polish the windows boy they look so good when they're clean and you know that looks really good when people walk up out of your porch and your windows are clean and of course it doesn't hurt if they're clean so that you can see out uh, it's always nice to see clearly outside now I've brought back the furniture and it too is getting a scrub down. Now, I know I dusted it well, but I plan on bringing out some fall fabrics and I really don't want to put them on dirty furniture. And again, like everything else, when someone walks up onto your porch, you really want it to look nice and clean and sparkly. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe down all of the furniture as well. You can see on this particular chair that it, it being black and the dust being lighter, you can really see the dust on this chair. So that's what I decided to do is go ahead and give everything, all the furniture, a wash down too. 
And you can see that on the seat of this chair as well, how the difference is, yeah, it was clean with dusting, but not clean enough. Finally, we're going to start decorating. And I'm showing you here that I use pipe cleaners to hold my swags on and other decor on the porch. And I like pipe cleaners because um, they're, you know, pretty strong and they're easy to bend and twist. And remember, when you're taking these things down, it's going to be colder if, if you live in my area anyway. And um, I want something easy to get on and easy to get off when I'm wearing gloves and my fingers are cold. So I always opt for pipe cleaners. Now that I've got the railing done, I'm going to move on to the table and just put a little centerpiece for fall in there. I have some burlap, a candle, and now I've emptied a lot of the pots that had annuals in them that weren't doing well. And we'd gone on vacation and it was hot and some of them didn't get watered. They weren't faring well. So I've opted to um, just put some fall silks in there. and. Um, when you're making an arrangement, yeah, just the bending and the twisting and what we would call the fluffing, that always helps. So now that I've filled all the pots, um, I have to tell you how excited I am about these pumpkins. I grew them this year and I had a really good crop, so it's fun to put the pumpkins all around. And now at this stage, I'm just going to go ahead and add some finishing touches. This is where the comfort and the cozy comes in. So I'm adding some fun fall textiles. I'm adding some rugs and some pillows and some throws, nothing better on a cold night than reaching out and getting a nice warm blanket and burn the candle. So here it is, friends. Here is the finished product, just a few shots of a few areas that are on the porch. And I'll have one more shot for you of the completely finished product, the entire front porch, uh, just as I did the um, the before picture. Here is a shot of the porch completely decorated and boy it just says welcome come have a cup of tea or coffee or cocoa on the porch with me. So I really enjoyed this project and I hope that you did as well and uh, hope that you like this front porch we do. Friends, that is it for this video. I'm so glad you came along. I hope that you will give a like, a thumbs up, and I hope that you will subscribe. And while you're subscribing, I hope that you will hit that little red notification bell so you will know when I am posting a new video. Thank you. Be blessed.